everybody, it's Mark Shalero from MS Classic Cars. I'm coming right back at you with another beautiful piece. Today, I'm sitting behind the wheel of a 2010 Chevrolet Camaro 2SS Coupe that only has 9,800 original miles. Come on in and take a peek. To start off this video, uh, this is a non-rehearsed video. There's gonna be a lot of information during this presentation that I do forget, so I would please advise that you visit our website at msclassiccars.com. If you have or have not been following MS Classic Cars, please take note, I only collect number one and number two condition vehicles. We're very proud to say we're the only classic car dealership in the country that services everything we sell. We document that work with an invoice as we've done here with this vehicle today. Once the vehicles are done through our service to process, we then put them into the detail room. We detail these vehicles to the highest level, starting from the undercarriages and working our way right to the top. Once the vehicles are finished, we do outstanding photography. Please again, visit our website to check out all the beautiful photos of this car. We have anywhere between 150 to 200 photos of every vehicle. Of course, we have this video here as well. And I would tell you, if you have any questions about this car, please call me directly. Phone number, email, everything again is on our website. So every vehicle uh, that I do presentations with, we include a brand new binder. That binder includes all the information that comes with the particular vehicle. Uh, everything is in plastic sleeves. Most importantly is the invoice, which is toward the front of the binder. That is for the work that we've done. As I mentioned earlier, we fully service this vehicle. That is again documented. We have over $3,000 invested into this car. Again, brand new tires, full detail, et cetera, et cetera. Um, <clears throat> talking about this particular vehicle uh, and the story, um, this is the original window sticker that comes with it. It's great anytime that you can get an original window sticker with a vehicle, especially something that's 12 years old, like this vehicle is here today. Uh, back in 2010, that was the first year uh, of the new Camaro design. It was a very, very big year for Chevrolet. Uh, Chevrolet, for the first time, uh, the Camaro outsold the Mustang. Uh, it's been forever since that happened. That was a real, real big deal. There was a waiting list for these cars. And once you started optioning out these vehicles, they became even tougher and tougher to find. This particular vehicle, I would say, which makes it the most unique, is the fact that it is Imperial Blue Metallic. That is a very, very desirable color. If you have not seen that color in person, it is absolutely stunning. And that color is complemented with a beautiful gray uh, two-tone interior, which you see here today. Absolutely spectacular color combination. This particular car uh, was ordered, again, as a two SS coupe, which came with a ton of standard features. You can reference this window sticker in our photo gallery to see exactly what was included. But in regards to the um, optional equipment, uh, this vehicle has the RS package. 
Uh, back in the day, RS was Rally Sport, uh, kind of a cool deal. It was a $1,200 option. That gave you the 20 inch uh, by eight wheels in the front, the 20 by nines in the back. Uh, they were also painted in aluminum uh, color with a midnight finish. Um, it does have the body color roof ditch molding, and it has the high density uh, headlamps with the halo rings. And this vehicle does again have the unique taillights is all part of that RS package. And last but not least, it does have the 20 inch polished aluminum wheels, which was a $470 option. So this car 12 years ago, the sticker price was $36,465. Again, this was uh, a very big deal back in 2010. As time uh, goes on with these Camaros, obviously the earlier models are gonna be the most collectible in the years to come. So this is a great opportunity to buy a very, very nice car that has really low mileage, that's got great options. Um, this car was ordered by Barton Burks Chevrolet, which was in Newburgh, New York. Uh, that's where it spent most of its life until it made its way to Massachusetts. Um, from the Carfax report here, it clearly indicates uh, this vehicle had two owners. Um, it shows here it had no accidents or no damage. This is a Carfax report that was provided by MS Classic Cars. We are a Carfax dealer. So again, it shows you the full history. We have this within our photo gallery. Again, it shows Barton Burke uh, Chevrolet. Uh, it was May 2010 with three miles and so forth when the vehicle was sold. It actually was February 9th, 2011. Um, again, uh, shows you all the details here. Some of the miles uh, during the service intervals, everything is well documented uh, until today, uh, which actually shows its last service, not through MS Classic Cars, but at another dealer, which was in 2020 with 9,011 miles. So we have a clean Carfax report. We have the invoice uh, that MS Classic Cars uh, provides with the vehicles. We have the original window sticker. We also have um, the original owner's manuals. Uh, all of the owner's manuals are included. We even have the yellow plastic dealership stock tag. We have a custom car cover with a lock um, and some other little incidentals that are all included. Again, you can reference those all within our photo gallery. So let's talk a little bit about uh, this particular car in regards to its condition and options on the exterior first. I am going to get out of the vehicle uh, and do an exterior presentation. Uh, so that way we're as transparent as possible. Just kind of highlight uh, some items throughout the vehicle. So I'll get out, I'll do that now. When we're done with that, I'll get back inside the vehicle. We'll finish with the interior, the engine compartment, uh, trunk compartment and undercarriage and then wrap up the video. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, now we're at the outside uh, of the vehicle. And what I'm gonna do is a walk around presentation on this car. Although the car has a clean Carfax report, we are still going to document that it does retain all of its original paint by using this electronic paint meter. And I am gonna use my flashlight, again, just to be as transparent as possible and point out any imperfections. Before I do that, uh, let's take a look at this engine compartment here. Before I shut the hood, you will clearly see how spectacular this engine compartment is. It still retains all of its original factory tags, which we did take photos of within our photo gallery. You can see them throughout the entire uh, engine bay here, again, even this little chalk mark on this air box here. Again, it's an absolutely pristine condition is how I would describe it. Even the backside of this is in beautiful shape. Uh, all of these clips and everything, it just is truly amazing. When we look uh, at the outside, we'll focus more on this front bumper area first. Um, it does have a little bit of road rash as expected with a car that has almost 10,000 miles on it. You are gonna get some imperfections. And again, I just wanna point those out. This is actually rubber, so there's no need to do the paint meter. So for now, I'm just gonna focus with the flashlight. What we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda just go over it here. I do see a couple of tiny little imperfections, again, being very, very fussy here. The grill's in beautiful shape. I will note that these bow ties here have been slightly customized. They do have a carbon fiber insert, which gives it kind of a unique look. Uh, this is the SS emblem here that came from the factory. 
You'll see down below here, we don't really have any scrapes or anything to speak of or any dings or dents. It's more just a little bit of road lash like right here as an example right here. Again, few little spots, no big deal. The lights are in nice condition. You do have a couple of little spots here. I will say that we did order touch-up paint for this vehicle. Um, if the new owner chooses to have us go around the vehicle, our detailers in MS Classic Cars will touch up the chips uh, throughout the vehicle that I'm pointing out here today. If you don't want us to do it, we'll just include the touch-up paint and the new owner can do with that what they choose. Uh, so now let's talk about the hood. The hood is in really nice condition. I don't really see any scratches to speak of. I don't see any dents to speak of. There are a few little chips. As an example, there's one right there. There's a few little spots in the clear coat. Um, you will notice that maybe in different areas of the hood. One back there as well. Again, not super visible, but definitely visible. Those little spots, um, they could be taken out if somebody really wanted to cut the paint. We didn't feel at MS Classic Cars when we were detailing this vehicle that that was truly necessary. Um, but again, if somebody down the road really wants to cut into the paint job, they could actually uh, get rid of some of those little spots. But making our way over uh, to the side of the hood, I'm gonna pull out the paint meter. And this paint meter uh, will slightly change as I make my way around the vehicle uh, normally Factory paint readings are typically in the low twos. Uh, sometimes you get up into the eights and the nines and so forth, depending on the make, uh, model, who the manufacturer is. In this case here, you will clearly see very consistent numbers throughout. This is a 4.5. That clearly indicates factory original paint. I'll go ahead and do it again here. You get a 4.0, very consistent. If this particular car had had a ton of body work or paint work or whatever the case might be, we'd be getting re digit readings that would be somewhere 12, 15, 20, things like that. Making our way over to the driver's side front fender, 7.5. Again, you'll see the numbers are gonna be somewhat consistent, fours, sixes, sevens throughout the entire vehicle. Uh, again, I'm using my flashlight here just to see if I can find any imperfections. I can't, even the emblem is in beautiful condition. Um, talking about the wheels, um, these are the 20 inch polished aluminum wheels that were an upgrade. They do have a couple of imperfections on them. One right there, one right there. You can see down by the valve stem, maybe when they were filling it with air, a couple little scratches, nothing that's a big deal. These are brand new tires. These are super nice tires that we installed at MS Classic Cars. They're Firestones, uh, really cool Firehawks. They're something we really like. They're Indy 500s, just a super nice tire. You can see those Bembro brakes. Those are standard with the 2SS Camaro. Making our way over to the front windshield. The front windshield is in really nice condition. It, again, it does have a couple of little imperfections, you know, little road rash, again, that's common with a vehicle of this age, as, even though it only has 10,000 miles or they're a little less, you are gonna get some imperfections. Uh, when we look at the roof, you'll see there's a little chip here, one here and so forth, one right here. Again, nothing major, but definitely a few chips here and there. Again, Want to be as transparent as possible. All the seals are in beautiful condition. Mirrors are in great condition. Now I'm looking down the side of the vehicle. I see really nothing to speak of. No dings, no dents, no scratches. Down by the rockers are very, very clean. I'll go ahead and use this paint meter. Give you a sense of that. 7.5, so consistent with the front fender. 8.0, again, consistent as well. Sometimes you'll see that the side panels have a little higher reading than sometimes the hood or the deck lids do. Uh, let's go ahead and put it on the roof. We got a 6.5, so you can see all these numbers are very consistent throughout. I'll do it again over here, a 6.5. Uh, again, the windows are tinted on this vehicle. They did a really nice job with that. Uh, see no imperfections on this driver's side rear quarter looks pretty perfect down by where these 
fins are is in super nice shape. I see no scratches, no dents, no dings. Everything here is in beautiful shape. In this video, you might see a couple little things here or there. Sometimes these things can be dust, like these items here as an example. That's just dust. Making our way over to the bottom here. There's a little tiny chip right there. Again, this is the part of the plastic on the bumper. Again, I'll use my paint meter on the quarter. 7.0, very consistent. Put it up here as well. 7.0, again, very consistent numbers throughout. Why we're over here, we'll look at this driver's side rear wheel. It's in beautiful condition. The only imperfection to really speak of is down here. There's a couple little spots there. No big deal. I would say they're in super condition. Again, brand new Firestone Firehawk Indy 500 tires. These are a stagger tire from the front. Again, rear window's been tinted. They did a beautiful job. Obviously very professional. Uh, this rear deck lid here while we're over here, we'll do the paint meter, 7.0. Again, very consistent numbers. Um, if you, again, look in the clear, just like on the hood, you can see a few little spots in here. And again, we're under bright lights in this showroom. I'm using this snap-on LED light, so it really does pull out the imperfections more so than natural light does. Um, but again, I wanna be as transparent as possible. And once again, if somebody really wanted to take those out and cut the paint, they could. We just try not to cut paint on newer cars like we do on the classic cars because these cars retain their original paint. And when you cut them, sometimes it takes a little bit of that clear coat away. And you know, down the road, it's just less clear coat, maybe more problems and so forth. So we just are careful when we do that. Making our way over to the rear uh, bumper here. It's in absolutely beautiful condition. The lenses, all of these chrome bezels, Again, it's got that same carbon fiber trim inside the Chevrolet bow tie symbol. There's no scratches, no real chips back here to speak about. This diffuser down here is in beautiful condition. You can see the exhaust tips here fit it perfectly. Again, everything is in super nice condition. There are those SS emblems that were on the front grille. Making our way over to the Passenger rear quarter here, we'll use the paint meter. 7.0, again, very consistent number. Again, right here, 7.0. No imperfections to speak of. Making our way down the passenger rear quarter. I did make a note in our description here. There is the slightest little ding right here. I'm being very fussy. You really have to catch it at the right light to see it. It's maybe the size of like a pencil tip or something like that where it just slightly touched it. Uh, again, if that was a concern for somebody, they could have a dent person maybe get up under here and adjust that. I'm not really sure. But again, want to make sure we point it out. Uh, one more time for the paint meter. Again, 7.0, extremely consistent numbers, all original paint. Why we're on the roof? area. I'll show you again, 7.0, very consistent. One more time to the top. That's 7.0 again. Again, there's a couple little imperfections here. You can probably see them in the camera. Again, not a big deal. But my feeling is that this car was probably parked at some point underneath maybe a, a tree or an area where it just had a small little things maybe fell off branches or whatever the case might be and just caused a few little things here and there. That's what I'm thinking probably happened at some point. The person might have driven the car to work or uh, whatever the case might be. Um, so the nice thing about a car like this is although it's spectacular, when it does have a couple little imperfections here and there, you're not afraid to drive the car. I mean, that's what makes it fun is you can get in it, you can drive it. If you do get a little chip or whatever the case might be, it's not gonna be the end of the world. Uh, as if, if it was a perfect car, then people are afraid to drive them. Uh, making our way over to the passenger door. Uh, it's in beautiful condition. Oh, before I forget, this rear rim, I forgot to touch base on this rear rim. 
This is actually in beautiful condition. So far the nicest one of the couple that we've looked at. I would say it's basically flawless. Again, brand new tires. But back over to this door. Again, I'm wiping off dust particles here. I don't see anything at all. No dings, no dents, no scratches. It's as perfect as you can get. 7.5, again, very consistent numbers. The mirror's in really nice shape. Now making my way over to the passenger front fender. Camaro emblems look really nice. Top side of the fender looks really nice. Again, a 7.0. Again, very, very, very consistent numbers on this car. Um, windshield, really, really, really nice. Everything is in beautiful condition. I don't see anything else worth mentioning. Again, last but not least, this front wheel, which appears to be as nice as the back wheel. Oh, we do have a little, little tiny imperfection right there. Again, nothing to speak of. Again, those Chevrolet Brembo brakes, Firestone Firehawk Indy 500 tires. And to finish it off, I'll use the paint meter on the hood. Remember, it was a four, 4.5, now we got a five. So again, uh, very, very consistent numbers, all within two to three points of each other. So this car clearly has all of its original factory paint. It's been detailed to a brilliant shine, super nice. Let's make our way back to the inside. Now that we're back uh, from doing the exterior presentation, uh, I'd like to go over the interior here. Um, this interior is an absolutely spectacular condition. Again, you have to keep in mind, this vehicle is 12 years old. Uh, this looks like a 2021 model. It is that clean. So when we look at the headliner, the headliner is uh, kind of this light gray. It's in super condition, super tight. All the sun uh, visors here are still very firm. They both have mirrors that are built into the visors. You don't see any indentations from uh, maybe a garage door opener or pens or pencils, things that people typically stuff in these advisors. So those are nice and straight. Uh, rear view mirror is in beautiful condition. The dashboard is in beautiful condition as well. Um, it's got all of its uh, normal standard features that you would find in newer cars today, such as power windows, remote mirrors. Uh, it's got a release for the back hatch. It's got a nice center console with cup holders. It's got all of its uh, gauges on the center console, similar to the old Camaros with the TikTok style gauges. Uh, they really made this vehicle look somewhat similar to the first gen Camaros, bringing back all of that history and so forth. Uh, beautiful, beautiful design here with this interior. I am a taller guy. Uh, you can see how much room I have in this car. For anybody who's concerned about space, these cars are very, very spacious. Um, again, this vehicle is equipped with the gray leather uh, two-tone interior. So the, the gray uh, really is on the fascia of the seats, uh, both on the front and the rear seats. They did a really nice job kind of tying in this uh, silverish gray uh, high gloss material on the door jams and on the uh, front fascia of the dash that kind of marries uh, the color of the seats. I thought they did a great job with that. Again, you have to reference the window sticker to see all the options in this vehicle. When we get into the trunk compartment, real basic, it's super clean. If you see in our photo gallery, uh, we lift up the trunk compartment cover. Uh, you'll see that it has uh, the original tire inflator mechanism that's there, and you will also see the battery. Uh, we did put a brand new battery in this car. Once again, uh, the new owner will have nothing to worry about regarding any of the service work. Uh, this thing just runs spectacular. Talking about the running, uh, you will notice underneath the hood uh, is a beautifully detailed 6.2 liter uh, V8. Uh, it's a great motor that Chevrolet had, the LS3. Uh, it was a higher horsepower motor when you got the manual transmission as this car has. It's got 426 horse, nothing to shake a stick at. Uh, this thing runs absolutely beautiful. The engine bay is fully detailed. It still retains all of its original factory tags and stickers. There's no signs of any uh, wear and tear really. 
uh, just a spectacular engine bay. Again, this car only has 9,800 original miles, so everything is still in beautiful condition. As I just mentioned, uh, the engine is coupled to a six-speed transmission. Uh, this has got a really smooth clutch. Uh, a lot of people sometimes wonder with these manual shift transmissions how easy they are to drive. This car is extremely easy to drive. And of course, all the power is transferred to the pavement through the rear posi uh, differential. Uh, so this car really hooks up well. It sounds good. Speaking of sound, um, at some point, we're not 100% clear when it was done. From the information that I've gathered and researched, it was done at time of delivery. Uh, this vehicle does have a high performance exhaust that was sold by the dealer because the mufflers say Chevy performance on them. So it was a dealer installed exhaust. It's got the perfect sound. It's not too quiet. It's not too loud. Uh, it still has all of its items that are necessary to have it inspected and things like that. Um, again, it was a dealer installed deal. We also believe at the same time, um, that's when the door sills were done. Um, this car, when you see our photo gallery and you open the doors, you'll notice that it has uh, kind of a unique style door sill. It's got carbon fiber insert uh, to make it look like carbon fiber. Those match the exterior uh, Chevrolet bow tie badges. So those are the items that were done. The windows at some point were tinted as well. Uh, I mentioned that in the exterior, not 100% sure when those were tinted, but I'm assuming that everything was maybe done at the same time frame. When you look at the undercarriage of this car as well, it's just as clean as the rest of the car. You'll see all that original uh, factory uh, green kind of grayish color uh, on the floors and everything. Um, again, all the original uh, chalk marks, factory paint marks, stickers, tags, etc. This car's got Brembo brakes, which are great brakes for stopping power. Uh, again, the list goes on and on and on. Make sure to check out this entire car in our photo gallery. Uh, and so forth. Wrapping up this video, I will say, if you have not signed up for our VIP email blast, please do so. We have thousands of people that follow us on our email blast. It really gives you up-to-date uh, information about MS Classic Cars and what we're doing, whether it's an auction, like we just got back from Barrett Jackson with a collection. Maybe we're doing a uh, auction on Bring a Trailer. Maybe we're doing an auction on Hemmings, uh, cars that we've sold, cars we have going through service definitely worth signing up for our VIP email blast. We also would ask that you follow us on social media. We're on all the social media networks and platforms. Uh, once again, MS Classic Cars is not a huge dealership, but we are definitely doing big things. So once again, appreciate your interest in this car. This is a cold start. I have not started this vehicle uh, probably a couple of weeks, maybe somewhere in that range. Uh, we did finish detailing it uh, maybe a week and a half ago. And then again, we left for Barrett Jackson, got back. Now we're uh, sitting here doing this video today. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a cold start. Um, I do also have both of the original keys. Uh, it even has the original key tag here that you'll see from uh, GM. So again, both keys are included as well. I just wanna make sure I mention that. Uh, but I'll go ahead and start it. Let's how beautiful she runs. We appreciate you watching. It's fired right up, sounds perfect. And as I mentioned, that exhaust system has the perfect, perfect sound. Again, appreciate you watching. Rock and roll.